We live in such a reactionary culture. And it can really just zap the life out of you. At some point earlier this year, I did a video on energy vampires and listed the four worst kind for me that has to do with the idea of, you know, you're, you come in with your full energy load and then after being in a certain situation or being with certain people, it just wipes you out as if you just, all your energy just was drained out of you and then you feel tired and anxious or hungry or um, just not well. And there are so many different kinds of energy suckers, but the one that I'm thinking about more tonight is just how reactionary of a culture we are in. People are easily offended. People blow up or, you know, kind of react in ways that are, they're, they're speaking first and thinking afterwards or they're in, easily inflamed, irritable. And you know what I mean. You, you can be in settings like that and, and even be well when you come into it. But then after a while, you find that you're actually becoming that monster. You're reacting, you know, what, 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 you know, uh, you're high strung. You're, you've got this intense look on your face. Your eyes are bulging and your blood pressure in your voice might be elevated. And, and you know, energy travels. So if you are around people like that, it is a lot of work to keep yourself from becoming just like that. And I get it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. There's a lot of distrust in administrations, in our national administration, in our local administrations, private companies and corporations. I mean, people just, we live in a culture now where no one trusts anyone. And, and that comes out so often in our day-to-day -day interactions and especially in professional settings. And so what you have then is, again, you know, just a culture of people where um, so many are easily excitable. And so when you have a group of people come together with that dynamic, it gets really uncomfortable pretty quickly because it'll go from zero to 60 in a matter of moments. And before you know it, you've got this big monster of a, a thing to contend with. And, and so I see that a lot more and more at work and just in the community. And it feels really, really oppressive after a while. You know, you just feel bogged down by the fact that I feel bogged down. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, maybe maybe you don't, you know. But if you're somebody like me and you're sensitive to those things, it just creates a really long, exhausting sigh. And you just step away from it going, this is a lot to manage. Because the worst thing is to become that to take on that dynamic. Um, I don't want that for myself. I know better when we're around people, and especially if there are many people with that same dynamic, it's, it's, it's challenging to not become that. So you have to really be careful and protect yourself, uh, operate with a really serious state of awareness so that you can name it, catch it when it's happening, and then um, make some different choices for yourself. Um, one of the things that helps me is to hold something in my pocket, in my hand, um, that grounds me, that reminds me when I'm having a really difficult conversation with someone and, and I'm feeling uh, a concern that their reaction is going to take over me um, at some point. I can ground myself with what it is that I'm holding in my hand and remind myself that, that that's separate from who I am and I can listen and I can support and I can um, do the kinds of things that I need to do, uh, whatever is appropriate for that situation, but that I can walk away um, not having taken on their high energy and uh, negativity that's so often involved in those kinds of uh, interactions. Um, but it takes a lot of work. You know, I can be very successful with that, but I'm exhausted when it's all said and done and just feel like I need a nap. And we have a lot of 
um, people uh, who are struggling with just kind of the way that things are. We're not happy with the status quo. So, you know, I think uh, depending on what our personalities are, we wear that, you know, and it, it manifests in different ways according to who, you know, just kind of how we move in the world. If you find yourself in those situations, one thing that helps me that I'm sure would help anyone is just be aware of it. Because I think with that awareness, it is a first step to being able to make some some conscious decisions on, you know, how to uh, remove yourself from that situation or protect yourself in that situation. When you're not aware, then things can just kind of sneak up on you. So um, just being in that state of awareness really is not something to take for granted because it really does help. But beyond that, I think we have to just be careful who we invite into our lives. And and when we're at work, we have to be careful how we engage with our coworkers, be mindful of uh, what it is that needs to happen in each interaction. We should always be thoughtful about how we communicate with each other. But you know, we have to think about just how um, important communication is. And it's not just the words that we say, but it's the body language and and all of those other nonverbal ways of communicating that can still um, translate into either a positive or a negative interaction. Um, like I said in the last video about uh, this topic, you know, be safe out there, uh, make Good decisions stay in that place of awareness and do what you can to stay sane in an insane world.